Clips, clips. Alright, the YouTube's in Ticket to Talk Land, so we stay in a post Russell Brand world where uh, Russell Brand, no judge, no jury. Just a executioner in the way of social media. Trial by social media, where um, the social media sways the public opinion. The public opinion goes a particular way and thus makes... Uh, th th thus stops him being commercially viable for a lot of companies. And they withdraw um, his ability to operate commercially on their platforms. I'm predominantly talking about YouTube and, uh, and whatnot with Russell Brand. Uh, Dan Wooten, is it? As well, he's been whipped off of um, Great Britain News, uh, Great Britain News, um, for laughing at a guy being stupid on his show. Um, now, what else is going on now? I absolutely, completely missed this. Um, I, I just got wind of this today through um, a video, a YouTube video, uh, in the sun. In the sun, on the sun, in the sun, on the, on the YouTube's, the sun's YouTube page. Um, but what's happened, and uh, as I said, this is the first time I've heard anything about this, I was unaware of this, is there's now uh, juryless trials in Scotland, there's a pilot scheme. So the whole uh, principle that a lot of the, um, the, our courts and law systems are based on is completely out the windy. Um, a, a, a trial by a jury of your peers getting eradicated and the principle of uh, innocent until proven guilty out the window. Uh, all you do is need enough people bumping their gums on the social medias. Now, um, Maybe I'm too sceptical, maybe it's a hangover from a conspirator days or whatnot, who knows. But I see this again as like the Chinese water torture, a drip, drip, drip effect. And before you know it, you'll wake up and go, oh, hold on a sec. Uh, we're staying in a country, Scotland, with one police force, police force Scotland, one political party, SNP, thank you very much, Braveheart and Mel Gibson. Um, and a legal system with uh, no separation from the judiciary, the people who write the laws. So the people who carry out the laws um, are now working hand in hand with the people who write the laws. They're working together, which uh, this um, SNP will go on uh, to. This SNP, um, SNP. <laughs> MSP <laughs> this SMP MSP will explain in a wee second uh, but how this has happened is they have used rape as a way of getting this in the legal system um, who's going to defend the rapist uh, and the way this is perceived the way it's getting presented, the way this is getting uh, put into the legal system is if you oppose this, it, people can like sort of uh, make the argument that somehow you're against rapists getting locked up and the key getting thrown away, you know? Um, because not only do you have the people getting raped, you have the people getting accused of rape. And the people getting accused of rape um, should be innocent until proven guilty, although that principle's out the window with uh, trial by social media um, and, and no borders and no jurisdiction on information on the, the World Wide Web and whatnot. Um, we're now getting to a stage where um, there's not going to be any even um, jury of your peers. So let's have a wee look at what's happening here. Some Scotland's most senior judges have raised concerns. Even the judges are raising concerns about a pilot of jury risk trials for rape cases. Now, again, this isn't in the pipeline. This is happening in place. A pilot scheme. Now, as in all walks of law, um, once the dam is broke, there's no going back. Once a president is set in law through the courts, 
The dam has been broken and there's no going back. So the president of juryless criminal trials. Now, separate the rape thing here. Because in essence, what this is, is a criminal trial. If you want to start dictating how people get um, processed in the court of law due to what type of crime <laughs> they've committed, it's another slippery slope, isn't it? I just murdered somebody accidentally. And again, the backdrop of one political party, one police force, no separation of powers <laughs> within the political and the um, police institutions. No separation of power up here. We get nothing. No choice. No choice. SMP are oh, sweet to fuck all. Or Fanny Adams. Police Force Scotland! Do, 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 do. Fucking hell! All you do is need one person on the fucking payroll and you control the whole fucking police force for fucking six odd million fucking people! Now you've got the ju judiciary, the people writing the laws and how laws are processed and whatnot working hand in hand with the <laughs> judiciary, the people who carry out the laws. And let's have a wee, um, well, uh, the senators of the College of Justice said the proposals may not meet fair trial re uh, requirements in response to the Criminal Justice Committee. Might not meet free fucking trial fucking commitments. You might as well fucking just have a dictatorship with some cunt going off with his head. I mean, rape is quite a serious fucking crime and to have one man or woman Sitting in a seat, being able to say yay or nay. Woo! Unbelievable, especially in a fucking system that stands up and says that it's all fair and, oh, look at the, 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 the scales of justice. Well, this ain't the scales of justice. This is a dealer's scales where he fucking has thumb fine, firmly on the scales. Fake sake. Juryless trials proposed to tackle low conviction rates. Now, the low conviction rates are due to the fucking court process not being adequate and a host of other reasons which could be t tackled. But then, but they, to use low conviction rates and rape cases who everybody thinks is fucking horrible, everybody's got a mother. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Even men. Oh. So, uh, anywho, um, there we have it, juryless trials getting rolled out, no, being rolled out in Scotland. Again, so I'm not quoting, but I'll paraphrase. There is the evidential difficulty that most alleged victims and the accused were in a relationship, sometimes even after the alleged crime, and that may influence the low conviction rate no matter what we use. The right to a fair trial under the European Convention of Human Rights, which is embedded in the Scotland Act, as this may affect the accused, and I think... Uh, let's let's not let's not focus on the fact that um, uh, some of the, the European Court or something is embedded in the Scotland Act. <laughs> it's not very fucking Scottish then, is it? But anyway, we'll detract from that. Because, uh, of course, the SNP sucks the European Union's cock. Crucially, as the government, I understand, is to assess the efficacy of this pilot. Okay, so get this right. The government... The government is to assess how good this pilot is. Basically, the government saying, yay or nay. Now listen up, because separation of powers is the absolute cornerstone of all these institutions and allows them to stand up and fucking give some veneer, some facade of fairness, of honesty. Not anymore, folks. We've got the court of fucking opinion in social media land and juryless criminal trials. But hey, hide it behind a fucking dirty ass rapist and it's all good in the hood and it'll go through the fucking courts. For me, this trespasses on the principle of the separation of powers of legislature and judiciary, an extremely serious issue. 
Oh yes, a very serious ins issue. Oh fucking thank you very much. Uh, he, at least, uh, 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 come on hen, you were going to say something important in the parliament, at least you could have fucking done your hair this morning. No offence and you do just really look like you rolled out of fucking bed. Do you give a fucking shit about this stuff? Do you care enough about what you're talking about to comb your hair before speaking in parliament? I, I don't know. I think that's an important point. You know, it's like people who don't make their bed. You know, see if you don't make your bed in the morning, you're unorganised for the rest of that fucking day, man. You need to be up, boom, and you need to make your bed. Comb your hair. <laughs> so will the First Minister confirm there will be robust scrutiny of this proposal that his government has an open mind as reflecting on these concerns and indeed my concerns? First Minister. Boom! So even some of the MPs, even some of the judges themselves are actually worried about this shit that's getting rammed through. Rammed through! The pilot is already in place. It's the dictatorship of the SNP who have no opposition in Scotland who who's put whose head of police force sit what like, ah, 200 fucking yards away from the house from uh, Holyrood <laughs> Woo! separation of powers I separation by 200 fucking yards in a phone call we've got a dictatorship a political dictatorship a police dictatorship at least down in England they still have separate uh, 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 cop shops, you know what I mean? Up here we're like, ah! Braveheart, freedom! Thank you, Mel Gibson! <laughs> Fucking bullshit. Um, anywho, um, did you know about that? It's news to me. <sighs> I think my fucking blood pressure is beginning to tell me why I stopped fucking paying attention to this push. She's just like, fuck. If you're not getting jabbed, man, it's a fucking left hook. <laughs> oh my lord, 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 lordy. I mean, and, and all these absolute principles that the talking head, the well educated talking heads in the political uh, realm stand up and fucking uh, bump their gums about. But do this, but do this, keep it easy in our powers. It's a democracy, don't you know? Real bad majority! No, it's not. I'm fucking... Uh, go and crunch your numbers, you fucking idiots. Welcome to Democracy Scam, where your vote is so watered down with every fucking lunatic in the fucking asylum. It means sweet Fanny Adams. Woohoo! Now line up and put your ex there for a contract with the government so they can stand up in the fucking talking, in the, in the talking screens with the windy liquors and say, we police and govern by consent. And they do, because they're getting your consent down at the polling booths when they tell you, we're going to do everything you want. Look at your manifesto. You get a free fucking, oh, it's like a kinder egg, you get a wee free surprise in there. Line up, put your ex, you dumb fuck, in my box. And I'm not even saying it in sexual. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Jury is trials in Scotland, here and now. Jury's criminal trials hiding behind the bullshit of low conviction rates in rape cases. Now, is there low conviction rates? Or is there a lot of crazy ass bitches out there making up rape claims? Who knows? You decide. Oh no, hold on. We don't get a fucking jury anymore. The judges decide. Boom. You decide he's out the fucking windy. You know what I mean? It used to be, eh, hey, here there's, there's Tom, uh, here's Dick, uh, here's fucking Harry. Right, you go in and you judge, here's a fucking jury of your peers. Here's the evidence from that side, here's the evidence from this side. Now you decide. Now it's like, uh, here's the evidence. Now, like, uh, you go and fucking decide whether you chop his head off or no. And who knows? This judge could be a man, a woman, could be swayed one way or the other. Could have been raped. Could have raped somebody. Could have had somebody raped in their family. A host of things that will sway their judgement one way or that They could be racist. They could be misogynistic. They could hate Bobby. They could hate Vagina. Who the fuck knows? But all that power to say yay or nay to a man being a fuck A man or a woman being a rapist? Fuck me. 
power corrupts, but absolute power corrupts absolutely. See it enough and you might just start believing it. Anywho, I'm out of here, man. I'm going to go and get fucking tried by a jury of one man, one singer, one song, one dictator. Welcome to 2023, all trial by social media and no fucking jury. How do you like them apples? Catchy. Clips, clips.